Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. In this episode, I want to introduce you guys to a new website I found that where you can actually sell your stock videography. Um, but this is a really special website. So stay tuned and let's get going. <music> Hey guys, okay, so most of the times I have been using YouTube particularly as my hobby and um, of course to bring content out to you guys. Sometimes it's tips, it's tricks, sometimes it's, you know, videography, uh, ar aerials and so forth. Things that just I just like, enjoy uh, working on video-wise and, you know, um, bringing that to share that with you guys. Um, but recently I saw, uh, I'm trying to remember which YouTuber was talking about the fact that you could actually take your video footage just like you know you could take your photographs and sell your photographs online and see if anybody wants your photographs um for their websites or whatever production that they want to use of course you could make some money off there you know I don't, I don't know how much per se because i've never really done it um but i was introduced to a site that where i can actually sell video um stock videography and i thought that was kind of cool because for over three years, I've been, you know, recording uh, a lot of video and so forth, and I use it for my channel, but a lot of the times I end up not always using the video footage. And um, so I decided I'd probably give it a little try. So the website I found that actually did this is something called Blackbox. Apparently, it's been out for more than a few years, about two or three years. Um, I saw that uh, one of the latest... Uh, one of the starting videos were in 2016. So they have been out for a while. And what Blackbox does um, is basically it allows you to upload your video footage. Of course, you have to cut it. You have to edit it. You have to do whatever you have to do first. And then you upload that video footage to their website. And what they do is they take the actual uh, video footage and they go out and basically post it to all the other videography websites out there at, under their own uh, price so basically um, they do some of the hard work for you it, and of course obviously it's not going to be absolutely free either they actually make a 15 percent commission off of you for doing that now if you had seen my previous video i mentioned that these videography um stock videography websites they're really greedy because they take more than 50 percent sometimes of your uh hard earned um sale and so when something is, for example, $30, you only get $15 for it. If it's $5, you only get $2.50. They take the rest for just posting it up on their website, which I think is a bit greedy. And um, the thing about it is, is that black box, I wouldn't say is that greedy because even though they have to pay the, uh, even though when they post it out to all these other sites, the other sites get the 50% um, and they only get 15% for doing all the work of posting it out to the other sites and of course maybe checking on the metadata and so forth, which I think is a fair deal. So um, the good thing about that whole idea is that if I decide to use that per se to do what I have to do, I don't really have to sit down whole day um, going through all the different categories and posting it and finding out prices because I don't really know anything about how much a certain video clip would cost and so I could overprice something or I could underprice something and that'll end up being um, to my uh, detriment per se because if I obviously if I if I charge too much for something nobody's gonna buy it and if I charge too low for something well I'll probably be losing out on some of the profits and so forth so um, I did actually create an account and I'm waiting for approval and uh, I have to say offhand it's a little bit slow because I would have posted some stuff on it and it's still being reviewed and that was about four days ago three days ago four days ago um, but then again, of course, it's Monday and so it had the weekend. So that's two days that I would assume that they, I guess they don't work on, on the weekends. Um, so I'm really, really hoping that at least some of this content is going to get approved. And once it gets approved, uh, they will then post it out to the others and we'll see how it goes from there. If there's any sort of, uh, if it's worth it or not. Um, but in the start, as I said, it's a process in which obviously I have to be patient, which is really, really hard. It's really, really hard to be patient sometimes when, um, you know, it's your contest and you're waiting for something and you're waiting for this thing to get approved. Um, so the process is not very straightforward. And he says, they do just upload to the website and the website done, you know, puts it up. It has to go through another third party, which is black box before it reaches there. But as I said, the good news is that they sort of have an idea what they would uh, be able to price it at. 
and maybe i am not too sure if they're actually changing metadata content that's how the site um is able the sites are able to to search for your stuff so for example if you have footage of um aerial photography of an island or something like that you'd have to put in your own keywords and so forth which which i did so we'll see how that works out but i just want to introduce you guys because this is another opportunity for uh you know uh youtubers to make some <laughs> level of money this is not an affiliate uh, video by the way this is just something that i discovered and i thought that it would have been interesting and um the whole point of you know as i say i'm on youtube not just to um you know to make money per se is really just to bring good content to you guys things that might help you out there so there's other avenues other than ads because ads don't make a lot of money unless you have millions of people i want to let you know that um and that doesn't really drive me to make videos per se. I just, I'm, I'm driven to make the videos because I like to talk about tech. I like to see new tech and I like to introduce people new tech because I like to share tech. I mean, mostly drawing and just having it for myself and not being able to share it out. And that's, that, that's the whole point of me. But sometimes on the side, it's, it's nice because you have a whole hard drive full of, of video content that is not being used in any way. You might as well put it to good use. So I think it's a good option for, for YouTubers and creators to probably start to do that and see how well you do there because you know the thing is it might be nice to have multiple income streams even though they may not necessarily be full-time income streams at least they will help you out and you never know how far this would go so with that being said guys i will do an update on this particular video that we talked about and um as long as i get some more information or as long as i see the process through um i'll be probably be bringing an update for you guys soon so with that being said guys thanks so much for viewing please consider liking and subscribing for more information about tech if you're a youtube creator too i also talk about youtube stuff as well too so um and if you have any questions comment below and i'll try to respond as soon as i can so stay tuned again for another episode of rthd coming to a youtube screen near you thanks again bye